Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to connect Open Web UI to Home Assistant so that in line in our conversations in Open Web UI, we can talk to and control Home Assistant. Let's dive in. We're going to get Open Web UI integrated into Home Assistant so that Open Web UI can talk to and control entities in Home Assistant. So this is going to get a little bit more involved, and we're going to learn some interesting things about workflow inside of LLMs. First thing you're going to need to do, head over to the openwebui.com website. You're going to need to create a free account just so that you can get access to these community downloads. Create that account, get yourself signed in, and it's gonna drop you off here at this kind of main search area. And in here, I want you to change the drop down here to say tools, and I want you to search for home underscore assistant. That's gonna return just one result. If you search for home assistant, you'll come up with a bunch of other things. Home underscore assistant is the correct name to get to the exactly the right tool that we're gonna need for this and click into that item. And just in case you're watching this later and things have changed, the one we're looking for is uh, created by somebody with the handle, that's not normal. Take a look here, just to make sure we're talking about the same one. And this may change over time. We'll talk about that in the comments. Go ahead and click get. It's gonna prompt you for the URL of your Open Web UI instance. So go ahead and plug that in and say import to Open Web UI. So this is gonna take that templated tool, which is a big Python script, and it's gonna drop it in here ready to go. A very important note here, and there's a little warning banner there at the bottom of the page too. Don't just go download any, any old tool and dump it into Open Web UI without understanding what it does. These are community developed, and you wanna make sure that they're not gonna do something unexpected or even malicious. Highly recommend that when you bring in a tool like this before you actually hit save and import it into your system, Go ahead and just scroll through all of this code and examine it as best you can, depending on your abilities and understanding programming languages. Just make sure it's not doing anything wildly different than you're expecting it to do. Once you're satisfied with that, go ahead and hit save and you'll see it appear here in your tools. Go ahead and hit the little gear icon here. This is where you can go into valves. Valves in LLM language are effectively our environment variables. And in here, all we need to do is fill in our Home Assistant URL and the long lived access token from Home Assistant, which I'm gonna show you how to get right now. So in Home Assistant, let's think about what this token does before we create it. This is going to grant the same level of access as the user that you're currently logged into Home Assistant as. So we wanna make sure we don't give it more access than we intend. I don't recommend you go in here with an admin account, create that long lived access token and give it access to absolutely everything. My recommendation is to create a standalone account with just the permissions that you want to grant, log into that account in the Home Assistant web UI. And then on the very bottom, you're gonna go down and, and click on the name of that account and click on the security tab, scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see long lived access tokens. So you'll say create token, You'll give it a name that is meaningful to you, and then you'll copy that big, long token that it provides you. So you'll paste that long-lived access token here and, and click Save. Okay, perfect. Let's go test it out. So you're just going to do a new chat and select the model that you'd like to use. Right underneath the chat dialog box here, there's this integrations button. Go ahead and click that. Go to Tools, and you'll see that we have the Home Assistant tool here. Let's go ahead and enable it. Perfect. And then we see the little tool icon has changed to number one. Perfect. Well, hey, let's ask it a question. Okay, so I just asked it, what entities do you have access to in my home assistant? And it does come back with uh, a, a very lengthy list. Scrolling that list, I can see that these are actual entities in my home assistant installation. Now, an important distinction here between the home assistant to Olama integration that we did and the open web UI to home assistant integration tool that we're doing now. This has access to everything that that user account from the token has access to. So on the other side, we were able to very prescriptively narrow down what entities the assist agent has access to in Home Assistant. This is wholesale back to Home Assistant. You can see everything that that user account can see. Not necessarily a bad thing, but it is a key difference. So something to keep in mind. Just like over in the chat bot, we can make calls to this to perform actions in Home Assistant. Now, I want to point out a couple of things here before we move on from this. One is if I go to create a new chat, you'll notice that that integration is not enabled. You'd have to go in each time you make a new chat, you'd have to go in here and enable it. Well, that's annoying. Why don't we fix that? Go to the admin panel and go to settings and go to models. 
And under the models that you would like for the Home Assistant tool to be on by default, hit the little pencil icon and scroll down. And under the tools section, just check Home Assistant and hit save and update. Now, when we go back and say new chat and we choose that model, we can see right here that that tool is already turned on by default. And just the same, you can go in and turn it off if you needed to for some reason. The other thing I wanna point out, cause it took me forever to find this, is where is that Home Assistant tool? It's not in the settings menu where you might expect it to be. It's over here under the workspace. So on the left column here, click workspace, click tools on the top row here, and that's where you'll find it. Took me forever to find that. Hopefully that'll save you some trouble. Next up, we're gonna be giving Home Assistant some eyes with the power of your local language models. I'm gonna introduce you to a tool that lets your local security cameras and things like that leverage the power of your local language models to give you intelligent information about what's happening on that image to really analyze it and explain it to you in plain English, what it sees on the camera without any of that leaving your network. It's all in your control, all running on your local language models, no cloud services, all private. Fantastic. Super excited to share that one with you. Hey, let's continue the conversation here down in the comments. I'd like to know how you're using your LLMs and integrations between Olama, Home Assistant, Open Web UI to do interesting things in your environment. If you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you see the next one coming in and consider subscribing. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next one.